Hello guys and welcome to another tutorial from Bimi Path Consult and today we're going to give you a free giveaway okay we're going to create a family that you see on the screen right now this beautiful vanity basin set and we're going to give it to you for free okay I strongly recommend that you do follow the process alongside us so that you also see how to create yours but in case you want ours please feel free to download it we're going to leave the link below Check the description of the video, download it from our Google Drive and feel free to use it in any project you want at all. So without wasting much time, let's get right into it. Let's open Revit, give it some time to load. Okay, so now that Revit is open, we're going to move over to the family tab and create a new Revit family. Okay, you click on new, when the template file opens you can now select uh, the template you want to use for your plumbing fixture in this case we're going to be using metric generic plumbing fixture so let's scroll down and find that so metric plumbing fixture right here okay we want to select open give give it some time to load good so now that is open we're going to start creating our levels what I like to do is to start from the elevation side, yeah? Okay, so in the elevation view, I'm going to create the maximum height for the vanity basin. And the maximum height for that is 900. So let's create a similar. And we... 900. Good, right here. So that's the maximum height for our basin. That's from the floor to the top of the washroom basin. Next, I'm going to create the height of the basin we're going to be using, which is 150. So we're going to copy this 150 as this. Okay. Now, the next thing we're going to do is we're going to be creating our cabinetry, like what you saw in the image over there. And this time, I'm assuming that those cabinets are around the uh, probably 550. Yeah, I'm assuming they're around 550, 560, or we can even do it 600, yeah? Okay, so let's see what happens when we do 600. That is 600. Normally, I like to leave some distance, like we see in the photo over there. 150, okay, let's, let's increase that a little bit more. 600 is a bit too much. Let's leave 250, yeah? Or oh, 200 200 should do here good let's let's go over there rather so we have about uh, let me measure this it should be about 500 150 here 550 and 200 i like that let's go with that so this is for the height now let's move on and then we'll see if we can get our base so in this case looking at the image that we were working with i'm going to assume it's going to be something around uh, 900 i might be wrong i might be right but after all i'm going to make it parametric so even if it's a bit more than that in your situation you can always drag it and expand it so 900 we go to create and we go to create a reference plane and offset using 450 we're going to offset the middle here and here. So now we have our 900. Now what about the width? We're going to be using something be around 470 to 500. Okay. So let's again, we click on this, create similar line, offset. Oh, let's offset 500. Yeah. 470 470 will do 470 there you go and we're going to offset 20 for the nosing profile just like that 
okay so now we can move on and start creating our basin so what we're going to do at this stage is we're going to go and look for a section of our basin itself and then bring it into the project and then copy and trace over it of course that is the easiest way to do this so i'm going to go to the front elevation where we have our 150 for our basin height and i'm going to go in here bring in an image like this and want to adjust this image so that it fits with our work so we go to scale we are being told from the bottom here to the top is 145 so we're going to scale 145 good and adjust it to where we want it to be great perfect so there you have it Next thing we're gonna do, we're gonna create the solid revolve. Pick that. And now let's try and sketch over this and see if we can get it perfectly. Yeah? Okay, so let's move. Now what we're going to do is we're going to draw our axis line. That's the line I wish this revolve to. Okay, there is this. Now just so you guys know, I'm not going to keep this uh, this one in here. Let's delete that. I'm going to leave the space for another revolve. So for now, we're going to cut this line here. There's this and come down this way. Just like that. So we can have the drain going in there. Let's chamfer the edges of this line. A very small chamfer, 10, 10 will be okay. Okay, now let's do that. And say, so 10. Let's make that five. Okay. Five and say, okay. Now that we are done with this, we can actually delete. We can delete this and voila, we have our basin. A beautiful one. There you go. I think I'm satisfied with the result now. Okay, so let's move on. So now that our basin is created, we're gonna go back and create our... Now we're gonna create the... I'm gonna copy this. Give it about uh, an inch or more. Okay, let's do 30. 30 will be the base of the, the countertop, exactly. So 30 will be the countertop. And we'll move back to the reference level and we're going to create an illustration. So create. Extrusion. Let's lock those in place. Okay. Let's say okay. Now moving back to the front. We're going to also attach our extrusion here. And lock this in place. And also lock this in place. Good. Now moving back to the reference level, we realize that our bowl is out of place. So in that case, we're going to create another reference level for the middle. So create similar. So this shows the middle of the fitting. Okay. So we're gonna move this, sorry not in the revolve. Let's unlock this from here. We move this from here 
to this center. That's good. And there you go. Now we have it in the middle. Okay, now let's see what we have in 3D. Cancel that for now. That's nice. Okay. So move back to your front view. So let's move on. So now we're gonna create uh, the. Yeah, these two. The top and then the bottom drawer. The top drawer seems a bit smaller than the bottom drawer. Let's keep that in mind. So we we'll also take that into consideration. So create similar. Okay. Two forty, and we have two eighty at the bottom here. Not bad. We're gonna create a box extrusion. Okay, let's move back to reference level. And we lock that here. And we lock that here. Okay, we should also lock that box from the side and side. So move back to reference level. Lock here. And lock that here too. Okay. Okay, so having created the box, it's time for us to draw our, to create our drawers. In order to do that, we're gonna create the offset in between the top of the drawer and the countertop. I'm looking at somewhere around the 25 mm. And here we're also going to create the offset between the two drawers, so that we can have some space in the middle. They are not to touch one another. Dimension. So the bottom one is 30, but I want to make it 25. Okay, so now they are both 25 millimeters apart. But in this case, we move over to the left elevation. And this is where we are drawing our drawers. So we're leaving a little opening in there so that you can be able to uh, put your hand in there to pull the drawer open. So we're gonna copy the ones we did at the top to the bottom there. And since the bottom one is slightly more than the top one, we're just gonna increase the size of that drawer to reach the reference line which we created for it. Okay, so now we have created our drawers. That's it in the elevation view. Nice. Now what's next is the mirror. So we're going to dimension the top and then we're going to create our mirror within there. Now remember the fixing height of the mirror is uh, anywhere between 1005 2007 from middle from the floor level to the middle of the mirror okay so adjust that to 1600 mm now let's draw our circle now 
I also want to make the circular mirror parametric. So I'm going to add the parameter to the radius of the mirror. So let's test the radius of the mirror. Let's see if the parameter is working. Good. It's changing. That means it's working. So now we have our mirror. <coughs> let's adjust the thickness of the mirror. Okay. Now let's see what we have in 3D. There you go. We're almost done. Now let's create a cap for the basin drain. So as you see again, we're going to use the revolve tool. There you go. Let's see what we have in 3D. Okay. Now we're going to be doing the material selection, but because of time, I'm not going to show everything. I've already started, I've done the mirror and the glass, but I cut that part out of the video so that it doesn't prolong itself. Truth is, the material selection is the same process, so I'm going to show you just one. Hopefully with the one, you can use it to add materials to the rest of them. Okay guys, so this is what we have done. We've created a nice vanity basin. If you would like this family, the link to download the family will be right below. Check out the description of this video and download the family from my Google Drive. If you like this video or if this video was helpful to you in any way at all, please give us a thumbs up. We we'll highly appreciate seeing that you appreciate what we are doing. Please don't forget to subscribe because we'll be creating more families like this and giving them out for free. If you have any comment at all, please leave it in the comment section below. And if you have a request or maybe a family that you need or you want, please feel free to let us know in the comment below. And if we have the time, then we can create one for you. So again, thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to subscribe. See you on the next video.